The grandparents of a missing child from Rexburg are speaking out for the first time publicly since the boy's mother was arrested. Kay and Larry Woodcock say there's no chance that Lori Vallow will bond out of jail in Hawaii. Our Gretchen Parsons has been closely following the story. She joins us now in studio with more. Gretchen. Mark, police arrested Lori Vallow last Thursday on felony child desertion charges as well as several other misdemeanors. Her bond is set at $5 million. Meanwhile, her two children, JJ and Tylee, are still missing. JJ's grandparents say despite the financial resources Lori and her new husband Chad may have, they don't think she'll be getting out of jail anytime soon. Before Lori Vallow's arrest this past Thursday in Hawaii, she was spotted with her new husband, Chad Daybell, walking around Kauai with a stack of cash. Lori, you have a lot of cash there in your, in your baggie. Now, Lori is behind bars. Her bond is set at $5 million. And while she would only have to come up with 10% of that to get out of jail, JJ's grandparents say they're not worried she'll come up with the money. Not unless some billionaire, some really rich person that... I just can't see somebody throwing away half a million dollars because yeah. that's what happens. You don't it's, get it it's, back. It's. But investigators are a bit more cautious, citing in court documents last week that Chad Daybell received $430,000 in life insurance money after his wife Tammy died. Um, she has apparently resources uh, to travel and uh, leave. As of Monday, Daybell remains a free man. He hasn't been charged with any crimes. But Kay and Larry believe it's only a matter of time. I just feel like that it's going to happen, and I hope it happens fairly, fairly soon. And that's what we're looking for, both of them in jail, and they tell us where those kids are. Kay and Larry say people who support Lori and Chad have blamed J.J. and Tylee's disappearance on a custody battle over J.J. They say that's simply not true. about let me say this. She is talking about this being a nasty custody. It has nothing is to what do. We've heard. If that's the case, the only custody issue would be between us and her and JJ. And so why would Tylee, why would Tylee be missing? Yeah. And, and it doesn't add up. And that's just a, a, a story that is just, it's not true. Months before police arrested Lori, Police say she got rid of JJ's service dog in Arizona the day before she and the kids moved to Rexburg. As we've reported, seven-year-old JJ has autism. I spoke with the Arizona man who says he trained JJ's dog. Neil Messis says he thought it was very bizarre Lori wanted to get rid of the dog. JJ and his service dog Bailey had a very strong bond, according to the man who trained Bailey, Neil Mestis. We were working uh, side by side, and uh, they were they were quite the team. One of the big things that that Bailey was trained to do was to uh, uh, help JJ calm down and keep him in bed at night. Mestis says when Lori told him her husband Charles had died and wanted the dog gone, it didn't add up. Well, wouldn't JJ now more than ever need his service dog, you know, to be a comfort? And uh, she said it was just too hard to take care of JJ and the dog, which again. Bailey's a highly trained service dog. Like taking care, care of him means feeding him and letting him go outside to go, you know, go to the bathroom. It's not, there's not a lot of work involved. Mestis picked up the dog on August 30th. He says JJ sat quietly in Lori's car and Tylee was inside the house. And she said, if Tylee asks, please tell her you already found a home because she's very upset that we're rehoming Bailey. Now, Mestis tells me it's not typical a trainer would pick up the service dog just because the owner no longer wants the dog. But he said he did it as a favor to the family because Charles had just died and he felt bad. And he was able to eventually rehome the dog. Mark. Well, you have to stay tuned to this case because yeah. seemingly every minute we're getting another morsel of information. Mm -hmm. All right, Gretchen, thanks.